Hey, I'm Brandon. And I'm Beverly. And this is So Happy Together. We just came from the Winner's Farmer Market in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. What did we get? Lots of goodies. Uh-oh. <laughs> now we got, I don't know if I can pull them out without breaking the stems. Yeah, we just kind of tip the bag over and show and tell about it a little bit. <laughs> we got some kale. We've got two bunches of carrots. And we're trying for the first time... What are um, they called? Was it radish? It wasn't radish. Mm -hmm. It was... Turnips. 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 I guess we've never had turnips. I've never had turnips. <laughs> but they said they're sweet like carrots. Right. So I thought it'd be good in like... We thought they were onions at first because they were just yeah. small white balls. But they might be good in a soup. I thought chicken noodle soup this week and carrots and then I guess I could put the turnips in it. Yeah. Maybe. We'll see. We'll give it a go. Yeah. And then we got two pounds of the ground beef. Yep. We've bought his beef before. This is our second time at this farmer's market. So it's kind of new to us. And hopefully, I guess this summer, we can maybe set up at some of them. And give us a, give it a go. Maybe. <laughs> Where are we headed next? We're going to get wood chips. Free wood chips. Free it just wood. takes a lot of shoveling. But I need practice, so I'm going to help next time. We may go eat lunch first at our probably our favorite restaurant. So totally not healthy. No. Come along with us and see what we get into. <laughs> <laughs> we found the wood chips. You ready to get to sho shoveling? I don't know how. I need more practice. You're fixing to get a lot of practice. <laughs> we got all the wood chips we want for free. All it takes is all it takes is a lot of shoveling. But these to work. Yeah. <laughs> what do you have to say about all that? It wasn't, it didn't take as long as I thought it would. No. One garden down. You got your workout in for the day? Yes. <laughs> Feeling can, strong? I can feel the muscle growing. Strong and beautiful? Strong. <laughs> hashtag strong and beautiful. That's our hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> There's our wood chip pile in the bed of the truck. There's what's still left. We're so, back. Thankful to the guy that gave us the free wood chips we found on Craigslist. Yes. We'll probably be back for more. Probably so. <laughs> I might get sick. Think so? Might be sick that day. Uh oh. No, I'm just kidding. You wanna know what your reward for shoveling wood chips is? Do you wanna know your reward? What's that? Makata, Japanese girl. We reward each other Mikada. with Makata. <laughs> probably our favorite restaurant. Yeah. We don't get to go here a lot because it's quite a ways out of the way. But it's pretty cheap for the food you get. I mean, yeah. 20 and bucks for both of us and we get... Uh, 20 20 Yeah. $20 and 20 cents usually. And we get about four meals out of it. Yeah. So. And it can't be too bad. I mean, it's pretty legit Japanese food. Yeah. I would think. Right. Chicken and rice and vegetables. Yeah. And those... A ginger what? salad. Yeah. Shrimp sauce or whatever it's called. Yeah. That's the worst part of it, but the best. <laughs> it's worth it. It is. <laughs> so we're back home and we're going to show you some of the things that we got at the farmer's market. This is kale. They had a dinosaur kale we never tried before, but we were going to stick with that. We've never tried turnips, but we got some turnips. And he said, you know, of course you make turnip greens out of the tops. We're going to maybe try that. I don't know if I'm that brave to try that yet or not, but, and then we got two, um, what would you call these? Bundles, I guess. Two bundles of carrots, which I know you can, he said you could also make pesto out of the, out of the greens. Uh, I don't know how to do that, so I might have to Pinterest or Google that. And that one's ready. And we got two pounds, it's actually a little more than two pounds of, of ground beef. Does it say the farm? 
Um, Zavol's Family Farm? Yeah. In Corrington, Tennessee. We've had his meat before, too. Like, this is the second time we bought it from the farmer's market. It's good. Yeah. All right, after we ate lunch, we went to Tractor Supply and we bought some seeds. And we weren't planning on it, but we bought them. The lady at the cash register said that she's never seen anybody buy that many seeds in one time. Is that what she said? Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, we... Do you want me to go ahead and go through all of them, or you just well, want to look at The out? reason we actually bought them all, we found that this Seeds of Change brand was organic heirloom. So, it was kind of, that's kind of what we were wanting. And we seen them there, and they just got them in from the looks of it. We were kind of afraid they'd sell out. Right. So, we went ahead and bought them. Yeah. We have two of some things. So, these were the coolest things that we found they're the organic garden collection. They've got like four different um, seeds in it to make, say, salsa. We might not make salsa, but it's there if we want to. And then they've got the uh, healthy green salad. So there's uh, the, the a lettuce blend. And there's some more tomatoes, carrots, and cucumbers. So we thought that was pretty cool. So we got two of those. We've got some pumpkins and watermelon. Sugar baby watermelon. They better be good. Spaghetti squash, yellow squash, uh, zucchini, onions, sweet onions, bell peppers, to another another tomato that's a bigger tomato, beef steak, tomato, potato, potato. Uh, there's green beans, uh, sugar pea pod. That's something that we've never tried, but I kind of wanted to try it just to see if we liked it or not. Uh, we've got cucumbers. We've also got the cucumbers in this big package. So those are the larger cucumbers in these. I guess they could probably get bigger, but we'll probably pick them when they're smaller. They're good for pickling, if we ever do that, I don't know. Then there's green okra, sweet corn, broccoli, cauliflower, spinach, uh, kale. And these are our herbs that we got. We've got peppermint, Thyme, sage, and basil. So, did we already say cantaloupe? Did we mention the cantaloupe? No, we haven't said this bread. Okay. We got cantaloupe, but these are from a different... We actually got these from another grocery store. So, these aren't heirloom, but we think that they'll be good enough, right? Yeah. And then we've just got some of these flowers here. These really... I don't know if there's a purpose to them yet. I'm kind of thinking that one may smell good, maybe for soaps or something, but they're just pretty. And of course, lavender would go in our herb garden. And that's like your favorite thing. That's my favorite. We can plant all the lavender that we can. I'll be fine with that. Oh. Have it in the house, have it in <laughs> every room. Won't have to worry about air freshening or anything. And it's pretty, it's purple. That's what you want. I think so. So the wood chips, we got free today. We actually unloaded them right before it got dark in our field here, like between the two gardens we're going to do. I got my practice in. Yep. She got lots of practice I in. I have no excuses now. Was it easier loading it or unloading it? Unloading. By far. Yep. But it didn't take long loading. No, it really didn't. I kept... You said that we were there for maybe an hour and I a half? I think, yeah, an hour, hour and a half. And it, it didn't feel It was like a whole that. truck bed full, so... Good we'll job. probably need to go back and get more too. We'll see how far this pile lasts. Next, we need to find some like mushroom compost or mushroom soil or something like that. Because we're going to try to do the like back to Eden style of garden. Where we need newspapers or cardboard and then some kind of soil, preferred with mushroom soil, and then the wood chips. Well, what benefit is all that though? Um. A lot of the water, I mean, it, like the wood chips, when it's real wet, it'll help the, it'll help it evaporate, and then when it's real dry, it kind of soaks up the water and keeps everything, I guess, fed by water or whatever, and then. Thumbs up, the newspaper kind of help with weeds The newspaper things. helps with the weeds. Then you're planting in the, preferably mushroom soil, and it comes up through the wood chips, and you can put the wood chips around the plants. So it's just, I guess, God's way of planting everything and 
how the if you go in the woods, that's how everything is. I mean, there's just dead, decaying trees that turn into wood chips and I guess good soil and everything. That's how it is. Not many people do it that way. Right. So it's kind of an experiment. Too. Right. This is our really our first year doing it. So I mean, doing any kind of garden, and we're gonna try to do it that way. Fingers crossed. Yeah. <laughs> So thanks for watching and please like and subscribe. Check back next time for what we're up to next on our homestead.